High Paladin, they used to call me. It was both a blessing and a curse. I led many men into battle in the name of the Holy Phoenix. Their glory was my glory. Their deaths, my responsibility. Still, it was an honor to lead them, though the honor is no longer mine. Now, I'm a pariah, cast out of the only home I've ever known. Failed in faith and disgraced in defeat. I was charged with spearheading the assault of a Shek stronghold. The High Inquisitor demanded we attack head on, make a show of strength the Shek wouldn't soon forget. I saw a better way, a weakness that could be exploited to cripple the enemy and preserve our men. I was called a coward, faithless, but this was not fear or lack of faith, just cunning born of practicality. Long had I been schooled in the ways of pragmatism, and war is a good teacher. But the High Inquisitor would have his way, and the assault, my assault, would sputter and fail. The Shek held, and we were broken. For this defeat, for lacking faith in Elkrin's plan, I was punished. Accused of heresy and stripped of all rank and title, I was driven into exile. Mongrel. A fitting name for a place, given its inhabitants. I now find myself surrounded by all the enemies of the Holy Nation. Human wretches that ignore Okrin's light and consort with all manner of creature. Shek beasts cast out for their weakness or lost to their baser animal instincts. Their kind would conquer the whole world if they could, for no other reason than their lust for battle, only to turn on one another when no other opponents remained. Hivers, those feral beasts pretending at order in society, the fogmen that surround this place are evidence enough of their true nature. Remove the queen and they become no better than bone dogs. Worst of all are the skeleton abominations. Robots who think themselves human. Destroyers of the empires of old. And the engineers of this wasteland we now wander. Alone in this hellhole, I must now find a way to remake myself. And hopefully redeem myself in the eyes of my nation along the way. Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with the first episode of what's going to be another Kenshi Let's Play. This one's going to have a little bit different focus than our other one, uh, whereas in our original Kenshi playthrough, uh, we started out as a group of six and slowly expanded into sort of a, a, a faction based on trade and mining and sort of commerce and stuff like that, whereas in this playthrough... As you might have expected from that introduction, uh, we are going to be playing as somebody who's sort of loyal to the Holy Nation, although we're starting out uh, very much removed from them. So the former High Paladin, Horin here, is going to try to claw his way back into the good graces of that faction and eventually uh, reclaim his title or maybe even do a little bit better than where he was at initially. Uh, but we are starting from the bottom here, uh, except for one thing. We are playing with a very much endgame character. Uh, so you can see he's quite powerful. I've used a save editor to kind of buff his stats up to what you might expect from somebody in the late game. Uh, because, of course, he was supposed to be someone, uh, you know, fairly high ranking in the Holy Nation. And so it only makes sense that he would be able to kind of hold his own uh, with somebody who was a high paladin, maybe even a lower ranking inquisitor. And uh, the real challenge here is going to be, of course, building up that status and, uh, you know, creating our own little legion of sorts, I guess is what I'll call it. And uh, that is something I wanted to mention before we get started. Uh, in the other playthrough, I didn't mention this until a little bit further in, but I want to do things differently here in that uh, there are a lot of characters in Kenshi that are required of you for sort of the more mundane tasks in the game so mining and producing food and things like that and so rather than uh asking for names from you guys for those characters because they're really not going to be in the spotlight anyways uh what i'm going to do is just sort of fill in those characters myself with random names or just keep the names that they've already been given in the game but one of our major goals in this playthrough is going to be to form our own little legion as i just said and those characters I'd like to uh, pull from you guys directly. And so I'm going to do this one a little bit more like my Mountain Blade series, where I'm going to pull one character every so often from the comments uh, from the people who are contributing the most to the sort of comments on the playthrough. So those who are uh, doing really great role plays or just contributing through suggestions and helpful uh, comments and things like that. 
But the Legion is going to be sort of an elite group, and those characters will get more or less all the focus. So I want to reserve those for the characters that you guys come up with, rather than in our other playthrough, you know, um, I'm taking name suggestions for everybody, but a lot of them are just minors that we don't really revisit very often. So, with that out of the way, our goal right now is to just make some money and, you know, try to either establish ourselves in Mongrel, where we are now, or try to sort of work our way out of here. Horin doesn't really like this particular place. He's from the Holy Nation, and a lot of these creatures that he now finds himself immersed with are... Sort of abominations in his eyes, and he's certainly not happy that he's got to uh, intermingle with them at this point. But he is where he is, and uh, he's going to have to make do. So, the way Horn has been sort of subsisting at the moment is by hunting uh, fog princes and turning in their heads for money. And so that's a little bit of what we're going to be doing today to try to, again, earn some cash. And... Uh, We'll just kind of see where fate takes us after that, but the eventual goal here, of course, is to revisit or, you know, make our way back to the Holy Nation. Have them take us back in in some way, shape, or form, and then maybe go on maybe a penitent crusade or something in order to get back in their good graces. And once we've done that, we can become part of their actual faction and go on proper crusades. Uh, I think the cannibal territories would be a lot of fun to check out. Obviously, Horin isn't too keen on the Fogmen, and they do share a border here with the Holy Nation as well, so that might be another crusade we go on. This area here, known as Bast, has uh, pretty much been demolished between, or due to the war between the Holy Nation and the... Uh, United Cities, and so we could maybe try to reconquer that. And again, all of these cities or forts or whatever we're building up will be run by more or less unnamed characters. They'll have names, but they won't be relevant names. And because we're playing as the Holy Nation, uh, slaves will definitely be a part of that. There's no reason to have a Holy Nation citizen doing... Uh, the really dirty, grubby work when we have prisoners that we can throw shackles on. And so, in terms of morality, this is going to be a different playthrough as well. In our other playthrough, uh, we do, you know, kill people when it's necessary, but we don't really go out of our way to do it. Uh, we're trying to maybe, you know, be chaotic good or something, whereas in this playthrough, it's going to be more like a lawful neutral, if anything. Uh, the Holy Nation is certainly an easy bad guy in this game. We're going to try to make them a little bit more relatable, but we're certainly not going to gloss over some of the uglier facts about them. Right, so that's enough talking. Let's get to some actual gameplay. Uh, so I'm noticing here that there's a ton of people standing around us, uh, all venturing out of the bar, and while he obviously has no interest in tagging along with some Shaq, especially after his history with them, there are quite a few humans that might be willing to join him, and one of them is Crumple John here. Crumple John, Crumble John, excuse me, not Crumple, although he is quite crumpled. Uh, Crumple John will actually join us for free, so I'm going to have a chat with him, and let's see if we can get him to hop in with us. Now, the way to recruit uh, Crumple John is to kind of pester him, but I don't see Horan as that sort of character, so uh, I think uh, he would probably say something along the lines of, you know, are you interested in some adventure, old man? Something like that. Anyways, if we just keep bugging him, uh, he will eventually join us. So yeah, just keep bugging him, uh, ask him a bunch of questions, and then he'll finally join us. Alright, so that's already our second character, and he's a little bit better than your average you know, 3,000 uh, cat recruit. Um, he's actually got quite a bit of strength for that weapon, but he's not particularly tough. We'll see how we do, though, with these two. We're going to venture straight on out and go hunt some hive, or some fog princes, not hive princes, although they're almost one and the same. So I think the way we want to venture out is probably out here. So let's run down here and see what we can find. But again, uh, I'm going to try to keep the focal point of this series on Horin. He's going to be the main character. There will be plenty of side characters, obviously, within our Legion. I'd like everybody to have a bit of personality. But 
I will be role-playing strictly from Horin's point of view. Oh, who's running out here? Uh, oh, there we go. Well, that's convenient. All right, uh, Horin, see if you can't draw his attention right there. And Crumple John, try to attract one of those fogmen. We'll see what we can do. Are they going to pay us any mind? Not really. Strange. Oh, here we go. Now they're going to attack. Can we fight them out here, maybe? I'd like to be a little bit more in the open. No, they're turning around. So where's the prince? There's the prince. Come on, fight us. Fight us, you cowards. Alright, so Horin's engaged. Now, Horin is a mountain of a man and pretty much a single-person wrecking ball, as you saw there. Uh, he's one-shotting these fogmen with weapons that aren't particularly great. Uh, he's barely wearing any armor, and yet he isn't taking a whole lot of damage. Uh, Crumpled John, meanwhile, is... I'm going to keep calling him Crumpled John, aren't I? Crumpled John is struggling to handle a single fogman. But uh, Horn over here is pretty much raking through these guys like leaves. Look at that. Are, are they trying to heal each other? No, they're just piled on one another's corpses. We gotta make sure we find the princes, though. There's actually two here, so this is gonna be a nice little payday. Oh, possibly even three. Crumble, how you doing? Not great. We'll have to make sure that he doesn't get uh, abducted or anything like that. So, what do we got here? Um, that's just a regular Fogman. Don't really care for any of that noise. Make sure he stays down. Oh, you're gonna miss. Okay, well that wrecked quite a few of them. Go after that guy. Uh, okay, so it looks like the one that defeated Crumble John fell in. So we don't need to worry about him running off with John. So where are these princes at? I see a lot of regular fogmen. I thought at least one of them was a prince. There should be at least one prince leading them. Oh, okay, well, we killed that entire group. Let's see, it's not going to tell me who's who, even if I hold alt down. So I'm just going to have to kind of poke through here. Are they all dead? Wow. Uh, he destroyed a lot of their heads, actually. Um, one of you has to be a prince. There he is. Uh, I don't really have room for a head, though. Let's make some space. That'll do. Uh, I should sell this. I was going to give him some headgear, but I don't like the way this thing looks and it's really really terrible actually I mean it's not terrible but uh, given that it's prototype grade it could be a hell of a lot better and we'll take this ninja blade because I'm sure it's worth something uh, let's see any of you other guys just making sure there's not uh, two princes here it's kinda hard to differentiate the workers and the princes in this terrain because everything's so gray but these look like they're just regular workers oh look more well just more uh, more heads for our payday isn't it is that one fleeing oh god he just got wrecked try not to get hit so much though man like you're you're still human all right go after that guy uh, I don't see any arms on that one Okay, then fight this guy. Wow, one shot. Come on, Horan, you can handle these clowns. There we go. Are we still fighting these things? Yeah. Well, now there's no way to tell if there was a prince in that group. <sighs> okay, well, give me a minute here. I'm going to dig through the bodies and see if I can't find another head to bring back. Not that I really have the space for it. Alright, so it looks like just the one. Let's go grab uh, Crumble John here and make sure he doesn't get abducted and eaten. And I guess we'll go turn in our our loot here. Somebody's fighting more Fogmen over there, presumably. What's this about? Uh, who are you attacking? Uh, I can't tell who they're carrying. An escaped servant from the Holy Nation. Well, these guys are Holy Nation outlaws. I don't know that uh, 
Horan would feel particularly obliged to help there. But uh, at the same time, he has no love lost for the Fogman. And even though this person is effectively a traitor in his eyes, they are still human. So... I'm not sure what he would do here, but he is a little bit beat up, and I am reluctant to take on another fight, especially with Crumble John out for a bit. Let's go pick him up. Well, we'll do first aid before anything else. Are you dying? Now oh, you don't have a med kit? Do you have a med kit? No. Well, pick him up and get him into town then. Or I should at least uh, shift right click so I can make that a job for him. But let's pick him up. And we'll lug him back into town and we'll buy a med kit. Uh, let's see. We'll take him to the bar. We'll get him resting. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it looks like we got another fight no matter what. So, um, go ahead and put him down. And just get into the thick of it, I suppose. Oh, you're getting hit too much there, buddy. Okay, so one of them's already picked John up. That's no good. Well, briefly, anyway. Keep swinging. Uh, don't focus on one. Hack in circles. That seems to be working pretty well. Oh, man, this is hairy. I don't think Horan had any intention of picking a fight with two full packs of Fogmen here. Usually one at a time he can handle, but... Numbers are wearing on him at this point. Come on, don't let them down you. We'll be in a lot of trouble if you do. Hang in there, hang in there. Nice. With every swing, he fells at least one of them. Sometimes even two or three. I think that's... Is that the prince there holding John? No, it's just a, a regular fogman from the look of it. He is quite tough, though. He's taken a few hits. Wow. And three go down with that swing. Alright. Do not let him get away with John. Yeah, he's got no chance to outrun us. Uh, make sure you get out ahead of him. Out ahead. There you go. Now swing. Perfect. Okay. The trick now is going to be finding the... No, don't pick up the Fogman. Pick up John. Head back. The entrance to the town is right there, so we don't have far to go, but I'd like to grab the head of whoever was leading this group. So let's click through very quickly here and just see if we can't find the prince, if there even was one. There should be. There should always be a prince leading the group, especially of that size. But where would he have been in all this? Wow, so there wasn't one. At least not as far as I can tell. And it wasn't this guy? Nope. Well, that was a lot of trouble for not a whole lot of reward. Okay, let's, um, let's get John some medical attention before his head gets too bad. So, imagine Horan saying, come on, old man, as he throws John over his shoulder and lugs him back to town with the, uh, the Hive Prince's head in his other hand. I'm not sure where... What's this guy up to? Okay, you're just guarding. It always makes me a little bit nervous when people are sprinting in my direction. Uh, the trader might have a med kit. They're not quite open yet, but by the time we get there, uh, it should be pretty close to opening. Usually 6.30 is about when the doors... Uh, you know, open. I don't know why that was so hard. But yes, uh, 6.30 is about when they open, and it looks like, oh, a little bit early today, even. So we'll buy a med kit. Uh, I wonder if they're renting those beds on the roof, because that would be helpful. Otherwise, we can just go to the inn, or the, the bar, excuse me, they'll have beds. So let's trade. I'm going to offer up this Fog Prince head. Ooh, they're paying a little bit better 
Actually, no, that's apparently the going rate. For some reason, I thought they went for around six. 6,000, but uh, I'll definitely take 7,200. Uh, I'll sell this as well. I don't really have a use for it. Although John might. Uh, he did get hit in the head. Maybe I'll give it to him. Because it's not worth a whole lot. I will buy up these med kits. They're not great, but they're something. And then I think we'll uh, set John down really quickly here. Go ahead and patch him up. Now, Horan's going to do it automatically. And apparently... Oh, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing there? Removing intruder. Okay. Well, as long as you're not a slaver trying to take him, he'll just dump the body on the ground outside. I don't know why it was an intruder. It was within store hours, but okay. Let's just make sure no slavers come running. And then uh, Horan will have to patch himself up as well. Okay, is that what you're doing? Yep. Right, so we made a little bit of money there. Granted, if we'd been able to find more than one fog prince, we could have made a lot more. Let's grab Crumble John and we'll head back to the bar where we will pay for a bed for him. So let's put him in there. Uh, Horan might need to rest a bit himself, but I think we'll maybe look at picking up another recruit. Although I'm sort of reluctant to do that because, again, I want to have our core characters uh, all sort of characters of your creation, with the exception of a few uniques that you find in the game. But uh, it would certainly help to have a bit more manpower. So unless there's somebody here who is unique, I don't think we will bother. Okay, so Crumble John's going to rest. Horin, I think you might swing by the clothing shop here and see if you can find a little bit better armor. He's obviously far poorer equipped than he would have been back in his Holy Nation days. Pretty much in uh, nothing better than Dust Bandit gear. So we'll try to do better than that. Okay. Um, let's see, we want to be back on floor zero. Let's have a chat with the Ashlander running the shop here. What does she have for trade? Okay. I'm not seeing anything I particularly like. There is some chain mail. But uh, it is quite expensive. And I don't know that it's significantly better than this specialist grade leather vest. So we're getting 17 blunt resist and 28 cut resist. Uh, granted, that's only at 50% for the cut. But uh, it looks like here, the cut resist efficiency is only 70%, so it's not that much better. And the resistances here are better in both cases. So while this is a little bit more efficient, this has more resist. So I think we're, we're better off. I'll have to wait for Crumble John to wake up and see if there's anything here that he could benefit from. Well, we can take a look at his gear right now. So he's got a fragment axe. Not a very good one, mind you, but he has a, you know, a big weapon. Uh, gi pants, they'll give him martial arts bonus, but he's not using martial arts. And then martial artist bindings, but again, he's not using martial arts. Um, it does boost his attack damage a little bit, though, so... If we can't find something noticeably better to protect him with, then this is fine. But ideally, we'd like to get him some proper armor. Uh, to that end, let's go to the actual armor shop and see what they've got there. Now, we'd be lucky to find anything resembling Holy Nation armor here. And uh, the Holy Nation chest plate is actually the best piece of chest armor in the game. Uh, even though the samurai gear protects the arms better, in terms of pure efficiency uh, your arms aren't that important in combat granted yes you do need to be able to hold a weapon but when you get downed in combat it's almost always because your chest or stomach goes out and the holy nation armor is going to protect that far better but i don't see anything that really resembles that here uh, plenty of samurai gear but i don't think horan would be too interested in that um, maybe some mercenary plate what does his heart protector look like? It's only shoddy grade, so it's not that useful here. Um, 
8% blunt, 20% cut, and it's only going to protect his chest halfway. And again, only his chest, period. So this is going to give him noticeably better protection, and not just on the chest, but also on the arms and the stomach. So that is quite good. Uh, that's also well out of our price range. So if we went for something shoddy grade, we could afford that, but then is it worth it? Uh, it does look like it's almost an improvement. The resistances are roughly the same. This just has better coverage. So that might be fine. Uh, what about some stand, uh, some armored rags? Armored rags I do quite like. They're not particularly expensive. Actually, what was the stomach coverage on that? So 50? So this has less stomach coverage, but more coverage everywhere else. And obviously the protection is better. So maybe getting him some armored rags? We can afford that. I'd like to get Crumble John something as well, but um, we might have to wait until our next, our next Prince Head, I think. So, uh, you know, I could buy this for him first. And Horan seems to be doing just fine in his heart protector. Huh. I think either way, let's buy this. Although I am a bit full up on inventory here. Yeah. I have one too many med kits in my inventory. Even if I swap this out, I there's nowhere to put this. I, I guess here's what I can do for the time being. So throw that on. Put that there. That will allow us to grab this and put it in our inventory for him. And I think that's pretty much it. 1300 for some plated long boots. I already have plated long boots and they're high grade, but Crumble John doesn't. So this might be worth it for him. Uh, and then even like this would be an improvement for him as well. Might have to bring him back later, but for now let's at least grab that armor. Okay. So, uh, you know what? We probably could have traded at that distance, if I'm being honest. Either way, let's, um... Let's pass that over, I suppose. Well, I'll pass this over for sure. Okay, so he's equipped it. I don't know that we'll keep that, but we'll see. And then the armored rags... Why don't you wear them for now? Because if he's going to be bedridden for a bit, you can make better use of them than just keeping them on an unconscious person, can't you? So, I think with that out of the way, Horan's going to go look for another payday. Obviously, John's not quite able to keep up with him yet, but that doesn't mean that Horan can take a day off. So we're going to run back out there and see if we can't find some more fog men or fog princes, particularly. So, come on out here. And we'll keep panning. We may have to try a different side. Normally, uh, you don't have to go looking for Fogmen. They kind of find you. But in this case, looks like we... Oh, already found some. Okay. I only see two, though. Where is the rest of their group? Generally, they travel in packs. They're not really solitary creatures, these fogmen. Okay, so here we are. I don't like the idea of venturing too far from the city. He doesn't put much stock in the strength of the fogmen, but he's not an idiot either. He knows that if he gets into a pinch, the city is his only real saving grace. So... He's not going to venture too far out to where the guards couldn't, you know, maybe bail him out in a really bad situation. Uh, well, there's just one. Oh, that's the armless guy from before. I don't know. Let's go. He's just going to run. He's not going to get far. You got to get out ahead of him, man. Oh, here we go. Ah, there it is. Yeah, fight these guys. Oh, God, there's so many. Uh, there better be a prince among you, or I'm going to be awfully upset. The armor does seem to be helping a bit. Uh, they're making me a little bit nervous, though. 
How did that happen? His chest went to minus two. You better get up, man. Uh-oh. Oh, look. They're uh, hanging out right here. I guess that's a good place to go hunt them. Let's see where they take us. Hopefully he uh, wakes himself up pretty quickly here. It looks like he'll be up in a few seconds. Oh, okay. Nope, somebody else is coming to grab us. Could someone just put us somewhere? Alright, so we're conscious again. He can outrun them, and if they put him on a pole, I don't think it'll be too much trouble to get him out. So I'm not that concerned. Oh, look, somebody's come to our aid. Thank you. Uh, Horin, go ahead and try to fight your way out, but don't let them hit you in the chest anymore. Okay, and they hit you in the chest. Yeah, look at this guy go. Where are you from? Are you just one of the guards? Yeah, just a shinobi guard. Look at you, man. Um, is there a prince among you? I hate to uh, take advantage of the guard's hard work here, but... There are dead fogmen everywhere. We may as well grab a head if we can find one. None of them are princes, though. And those are all corpses we've created in the past. This guy's flying in the air. Not a prince, though. That's a heavy. And I don't really feel like kicking this hornet's nest. Oh god, they're eating this guy. Uh, that's the escaped servant we saw earlier. Uh, let's see. There's actually quite a few princes over here, but we're clearly not in any shape to be taken on that fight. Hmm. And none of you guys were princes. All workers. Well, I think uh, that close call was enough of a warning for Horin to maybe consider getting back and resting up a bit himself before going on any further. We do know that they've got a little base right around the corner here, though. So, we'll be able to take advantage of that. Uh, what's happening over here? More guards and more fogmen. Now, these are just heavies, so there's really no reason to divert our current path over to them. If, however... Interesting. Why are you not resting? I paid for the bed. Make use of it, man. We'll get Hor in one as well. He will need to patch himself up a bit, but it's honestly not much. Yeah, I, I underestimated how hurt he was there, because his chest isn't... Um, well, because he had healed himself, I thought he had more chest health than he did. And obviously he did not, so that kind of hurt us. Where is John at? Which bar was he at? This one. It's two bars right next to each other. It's a little bit hard to keep track sometimes. So, we'll have him fall in bed here, and we'll get him rested up. Holy hell, so a fogman just ran in here and abducted John. Obviously we're not going to let that stand. But how did a fogman even get this deep into the town? Oh, okay. It's happening up here. For some reason, I thought he would get farther than that. But how did he even get in in the first place? I think there's just too many people swinging right now. We can't even get in there to take a swing ourselves. There we go. Um, I'm not going to bother with his weapon. Let's trade with John while he's up, though. So, John, take that heart protector, if nothing else. And uh, I'll give you one of the med kits. And some of this food. Okay. Back to bed with you. Hopefully no more fogmen run into the city. How did he get that far? I wonder if somebody grabbed him to lock him up. And, uh... He got loose. Obviously, unless... Oh, he is dying now. Okay. 
I'm gonna say unless he dies, he's gonna get up and try it again. But in this case, that will not be a problem. He's gonna bleed out probably from his chest. All right. So while we're kind of waiting around for things to start opening up, it's still quite early in the morning, uh, 4:25 a.m. Horan's still kind of getting the lay of the land here in Mongrel, exploring things. He's not really used to the, uh, you know, the locals yet or really anything in this city. So he's been just kind of wandering, checking stuff out, and uh, he came across a kind of odd character in the bar. So we're gonna have a chat with him. This is uh, Infinite Wing Wing who has uh, a pretty ridiculous name, if uh, I might say so. And we're going to go ahead and see if he'll join us. Uh, he will if you choose the right dialogue options. He, he's not technically a unique character, but you might treat him like one for the time being, because I don't have a different name for him. But you can get rid of the ridiculous name, although I feel like Horin would be suitably annoyed by it for you know, having to say it out loud. And... Uh, I don't know, I can imagine that being kind of funny for a little while. So, dare you engage the might of Infinite Wing Wing? Dare you? What do you mean? You want to fight? Infinite Wing Wing is for hire, so hire him. Leap on this rare and valuable opportunity you must. How much? Infinite Wing Wing is no small purchase, my feathered friend. Infinite Wing Wing costs 100,000 Catan credits, no less. I'll give you 4,000, and I'm changing your stupid name. Are you mad? You can't just change Infinite Wing Wing's name like some kind of mad wizard. Okay, 10,000. Never. Um, five? Deal. He begins dancing on the spot like some kind of madman. Everybody's staring. So we're going to pay 5,000 credits, which is kind of expensive, but he's one of the better uh, recruits that you can find around the world. And he comes at a pretty reasonable price, considering, because they can go as high as six, or even more than that sometimes, for rare exceptions. And often those characters will still be, you know, pretty low level, not really any better than a hungry bandit or something. Whereas he's actually quite good. Um, in terms of appearance and name, I'm not going to really touch any of this yet. He is... I I'm going to treat him as a unique character for the time being, but when we find... A plastic surgeon down the line we can tweak his appearance slightly and give him a new name and so uh, I think we'll do that then but for now we'll just kind of deal with his ridiculousness because we are in mongrel and uh, you know when in mongrel do as the mongrels do so he's joined us we're gonna run back to where was that entrance that we've been lingering around where is crumple John at crumble John I keep doing it okay here we go we're going to run down here and try to grab the remaining loot off of these bodies. Because they actually have some decent stuff here and there. I'm also getting some weird crashes, so just so you guys are aware of that. Um, if there's a strange cut or anything. I, I don't know what it is, but my game is crashing somewhat regularly here. I, I don't know why. But um, if it becomes a, a regular problem then I will probably just re-import the game and I hope that will fix it so uh, nothing to really worry about but we'll definitely keep an eye on it let's grab that uh, I think we can do better on the clothing front though who are you carrying there someone from the holy nation uh, he's got a decent weapon but otherwise not very well equipped uh, I don't really care about you Let's grab... Really? Yeah, nothing great. Who are they shooting at right now? This guy? Yeah, they're shooting at him. Oh, well, we'll loot him when he goes down. How about that? Alright. Yeah, go grab his gear off of him. He looks to have some decent stuff. Okay, so we'll take all the medical supplies. This is a better weapon than you have by far, and better than this, so we'll take it and equip it. Uh, is this better than your current armor? It's high grade, 16 blunt, 26 cut, 75 efficiency. Better in, on every front there. This covers both arms, stomach, and chest pretty well, everything for the, except for the right arm anyway. 
this covers uh, not as well, but it's got a whole lot of other bonuses. I'm going to grab... Well, I'm going to grab it either way, but I think I'm going to equip that. Let's do this, and what the hell just happened? I don't know. I'll pass that over, though. I meant to move those, and we'll grab these plate boots. Probably for Crumble John, and... Ooh, specialist grade leather vest. Yeah, we'll equip that. Okay. Pick up your vest off the ground. Do you have a bounty or anything? No. Well, that significantly upgraded your armor. Uh, I'm not really seeing much else. Does anybody have a weapon over here? Like a good weapon. Just this guy, but we can't access his inventory while he's being held like that. So, I think we'll just leave it be. We've got some decent loot. Some stuff that we can sell and some that we'll keep. I'm going to have Infinite Wing Wang here trade with John. So John, you're going to keep this weapon for yourself and sell that. I'd like you to equip these plate plated long boots. And that's looking a little bit better. We got you in some proper armor. We just need to find him some like drifter's pants or something. Unfortunately, these guys are all wearing pretty crappy stuff. Um I almost wonder if these are still better. I don't think it matters. I think they're equally useless in our case. This gives you martial arts skill, but we're not using it, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to take these just because I think they look better. Are they lighter? They don't have a weight. Oh, wait, yes, they do. They are lighter. Okay, well, then we'll just do that. Because statistically, they make no difference. Alright, we'll have to do something about his posture, too, because that just looks unpleasant. Well, I've got a little bit more time to wait before the shop opens up, so I'll just hang out for a bit, and then we'll unload this stuff. Okay, the shop's open. I'm going to quick save here, just in case the game crashes, and then we'll head inside and get rid of some of this loot. Cool. Caught you before you got too far away. Perfect. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, that's high grade. What was yours? Also high grade, so it doesn't matter. We'll sell this, we'll sell this. Both of these weapons can go. And let's see, John, sell that fragment axe. I think you'll be better off with something that attacks a little bit more quickly. And this is the better of the two, so go ahead and throw that in there. I'll sell this and this. I guess we'll keep the face protector, faceplate thing for now. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, so we're up to 14k again. That's not bad. I suppose that'll have to do. We've got plenty of medical supplies now as well. I think food is something we need to consider, though. We're not necessarily low on food, we just don't have a lot of it. But I guess what we can do is... Why don't you pass some of that over... And John, pass over like one or two as well. Okay, so with three fairly decently equipped characters, we're going to head back out into the fog and see if we can't find some fog princes. Uh, this is not the way we've been going before. I don't want to go out that way. Not that we wouldn't find fog princes, it's just... I think we'll have better luck in the other direction. I believe it was this way. Uh, because there's that fog prince, or not fog prince, the fog man spawn point over there. And it looks like there is some Fogman activity. Uh, is that... Are they Fogman out here? Yeah. Well, let's see if we can't maybe steal ahead. Because it'd be a lot easier than going out to hunt one for ourselves. But I don't think we'll be that lucky. Nope, just regular old Fogman. So we'll have to, again, go hunting. But that's fine. That's why we're here. Well, that's not why we're here. But that's... It's what we're doing to stay afloat. Where did they get off to? Now I know that they have a camp over... Where was that? Back this way somewhere. Yeah, there it is. They're eating somebody as we speak. Uh, we got more right here. Let's just attack these guys. Easy enough. But is there a prince among you? Because if you're all heavies, it's kind of not worth it. Uh, they're carrying another person there. 
Wait, who's dead? <laughs> He's dead. Uh, I don't really care about saving him then. Not that I cared that much before. Well, these guys aren't much more than practice. But I suppose these guys do need to get their toughness up one way or another, so let's just dive straight in. Horan, you go for the main group. John, try to pick off one of the stragglers, and Wing Wang, why don't you grab that guy? Hopefully our new armor keeps us afloat a little bit longer here. John immediately gets smacked in the face. Hopefully his armor protects him, because he's not... Oh, wow. Okay. You have already taken a pretty nasty hit as well. Can you go help him out? And Horin, you just pull this whole group. Let's have him taunt. That might help uh, keep them alive a little bit longer. Uh, who's... Oh, that's the... That's the uh, servant. The holy servant that was um, already captured. Come on, Horin. You're getting hit way too much here. Armor's holding, but he's still getting pummeled. Well, here comes the guards. It should help distract them a bit. The issue here is these guys are all fog heavies, so they're a little bit better than the regular fog men that we were dealing with before. I thought we'd uh, maybe fare a little bit better than this, but obviously I was mistaken because these two guys couldn't even down a single one of them. Come on, Horan. You got this. God, there's like limbs everywhere. Okay, so fog heavies. I don't think any princes came over here. That guy's trying to crawl away, maybe? This one's this guy's already dead, so there's really no point in trying to save him or anything. How are you guys doing? Um not horribly, like they're not gonna die unless I completely neglect them. Go make sure he doesn't get back up first. Okay, he's out. In that case, heal up our friends here. Who's screaming and where? I don't know, I'll let the guard handle it. Uh oh. Horin, you need to uh, deal with this guy before he steals your friends. Come on, don't let him block you. There we go. I'm going to take this and then dump it on the ground. If he wants to fight us, he can do it with his bare hands. Anybody else? Any other takers? The guards are looking pretty active. God, no princes, though. I think we are going to have to try to pull some from their base back there. Because I am not seeing any coming out here. God, they're both in recovery comas. Great. Well, go ahead and pick up Wing Wing there. Try to at least get him to the gate. It'd be nice if one of them could walk. Oh, well. I'll keep an eye on this guy. Looks like the guards. The guards should be able to handle it. I just don't want John to get picked up and run off with, because that would be unfortunate. Wow, they are really uh, pouring out to go deal with these guys. Okay. Put him down there. He should be safe there. Go grab your other friend. We don't want John getting taken. Two more heavies, but not, not a prince in sight. Oh well. All right, there it is. Let's get him to a bed. I think uh, Horan's gonna have to go hunting by himself because uh, running with friends is not working so great for him so far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get our friends into bed, let them heal up a bit. I might let Horan heal a bit himself just because you know he's taking a little bit of damage. His armor's not protecting his stomach particularly well. And we'll put them to work doing something else. I don't know if it'll allow me to build any sort of ore storage, but this thing is, I think, essentially a giant... Oh, it's a giant iron resource, not a giant copper resource. 
selling iron is not the best thing in the world, but it'll make us consistent money if nothing else. Obviously, hunting fog prints is, isn't reliable work. But, yeah, we'll figure something out. Please uh, feel free to throw me some names in the comments, though. Uh, again, I'm going to reward the people that contribute most in the comments. Roleplay is definitely encouraged, uh, because those are always fun to read. And we'll slowly work them into our party, just like I do for my Warband playthroughs. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I essentially add one every couple weeks. And we kind of give their backstory a bit, and just talk about their character. Rather than what I was doing for the other playthrough, where we're essentially just naming random hirelings that we get, and sending them off to do menial tasks. So, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Kenshi with you. I'm really looking forward to this new playthrough. I think it'll be a fun change of pace from our other one, just because it's going to be so much more combat focused, uh, especially later on when we're going on our little crusades and building uh, little forts and stuff like that. But also, we'll get to see some of the dark side of Kenshi because we're playing as the Holy Nation, and we'll get to do some things that would be hard to justify in our other playthrough. So, uh, thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.